So when we look at the Burr model, for those people at home, that's B plus four R's. So that was a term or a phrase coined by the guys at Bigger Pockets, the biggest you know real estate investment podcast platform in the world. I think Brandon Turner officially was the guy that created that. And it stands for buy, rehab, uh, rent, refinance, repeat. So it's just the model, right? And another thing about real estate that makes it so powerful is you can have the ability to sort of like manipulate it or change it or control it. Whereas like other stuff in the market or other types of investments, you have like no control. Like if I invest money in the stock market, I have almost no control on that unless I'm like the CEO or on the board of directors of a company, you know, and there's legalities around that, but you really have very little control. Whereas for me, even a smaller, you know, mom and pop type investor, how I started, I have a ton of control. So I can go find a dilapidated house that most people are scared of because there's a sewer issue or there's was a flood or there was a fire or something. And I can say, Hey, I'll take that on. That's a mess, but I'll take that on because I know if I buy it for 50 or 60,000, I know at the end of the day, it's worth 140. So people think that like real estate investing is, can be, and it can be risky. But people have huge misconceptions about Burr. So if I'm buying a property to Burr, I'm buying it at a huge discount. I, I know I'm only buying this if it's at a big discount. And I know that my money that I'm willing to put in there, if I look at the purchase price plus the rehab price, it has to be less than 80% of the entire value. And when we were in our prime last year, bought 100 properties, um, actually 99, I don't want to exaggerate, but we say hundred because we were one short and it really, really pissed me off. Cause we were, our goal was hundred. We ended up at 99. So I don't mean to exaggerate cause it was only 99. But when we did that in 2022, we were oftentimes at 60 to 70%. So the purchase price plus the amount of money we had to rehab, we were only at 60%, 60 to 70% of the value. So that means we're creating a ton of equity, right? Now what happens and this is where you come up with what's called a cash out refi. So for people who aren't familiar with this, a cash out refi means that you actually get money back. You get more money back from the bank than you even put into the property. Okay. So let's just do like a simple math example. Okay. Let's say I bought a property for 40,000 and I put 22,000 in it. So 40,000 plus 22 is 62,000 of my cash or of my line of credit or of if I borrowed hard money, whatever it may be, but somehow I had cash to pay 40 plus 22. Maybe you did some of the work or maybe you have a team around you so you can do the work cheaper, right? So I'm in this property for 62,000. I now go to the bank and they say, well, great, we're gonna do a, an appraisal and we'll give you 80% of the value. 